Alright, update 7.0 for SnowRunner. This update will bring us a brand new vehicle, a new add-on that is the metal detector that's gonna be useful for some specific missions, a brand new map on the Kola Peninsula region called Imandara, and a lot of cosmetics. So the first thing we're gonna check is the brand new vehicle, the TUS-108 Ward Hawk. From what I could test, uh, you can buy this straight away uh, if you go to your garage. Uh, it's not a very expensive vehicle and it is amazing, it is super compact, really cute and you can fit super high suspensions that will allow you to use up to 47 inches uh, tires. It is a off-road truck with only two axles. Uh, you can upgrade the engine, so gearbox for off-road if you want. Uh, for frame add-ons it will have some unique frame add-ons that is, actually they are not quite super unique they are the same one of the other test that we already unlocked on uh, lake Cove. but on this one you can also fit the saddle low uh, however i'm not very comfortable about fitting the saddle low this close to the rear axle i think this truck is probably gonna lose a lot of uh, control by having lack of traction on the front axle Either way, it will feature the unique suspension that uh, with a toggle off, with a press of button, you can switch between low and high suspensions. I personally don't understand why this will be any helpful whatsoever, because I'm pretty sure you should be better off having the higher suspension so you can put a bigger tire anyway. Uh, but that's up to you, that's a cool addition I guess. This truck handles really well, especially with those uh, bubble big, big ass uh, muddy tires. Uh, so it's a good exploration truck, I guess. Not quite sure it will be remotely enough to be able to handle this new map. Because spoiler alert, it is so mean. Uh, moving on, we have some new decor, some new paints, but most of all we have the introduction of uh, internal decors. We have those bubble hats. We had some um, deodorizers, we have stickers, you name it. So whenever you go on first person again, you now can watch this cute dog head bounce around. Moving on, we got a brand new uh, truck add-on that you can place in a, just a handful of trucks actually. Not all trucks can fit it. I'm gonna leave on the screen the whole list of the trucks that are compatible with this add-on. and. I don't see any really, really capable truck on that list, but it is what it is. Uh, so with this module, you will be able to run the new missions that will require them. So basically it will help you to find some metal fragments for an airplane. And there's some core missions that will require you to be using that module. Moving on, we finally have the start of this video, I say which is the brand new map called Imandara. Uh, whenever I play this game on Lake Coast, I, I keep saying to myself, like, can they make this any, any, just a little bit harder, maybe, because this is almost impossible to play. So how can they make this even harder? And there's the answer. Imandara is way harder than Lake Coast, like, maybe 10 times harder and i didn't think that could even be possible uh, so if you don't want to see any spoilers of this map you can close this video now and stay tuned for more but if you want to see firsthand what this crazy evil devilish map will have for you just stay tuned but before we move on i would like to ask your favor I would love to have your subscription to my channel. I'm currently doing SnowRunner videos, but mostly I will be covering the release of Cyberpunk 2077. So if you're hyped to the game as well, just like I am, make sure to subscribe to the channel for SnowRunner and mostly Cyberpunk 2077 content. So no further ado, and let's keep going. So first of all, the entrance. Of course, that entrance has to be across Lake Covid, so you literally have to go the furthest away possible from the garage on Lake Covid, so you can enter the new map. Not only that, uh, the map is huge and the terrain is way, way harder than Lake Covid. It's like they thrown everything together, there is breakable ice all over the place, there's super, super deep snow. By the way, 
the moment you enter this map, it's very likely that you're gonna get completely stuck into super soft deep snow. So keep that in mind. Uh, not only that, the worst part for me was the sort of a lack of garage right on. So there is a garage, there's somewhere like really deep into the map, which is a good thing because it's more or, or less centralized on this new map. However, it's very difficult to get there. And not only that, after you get to the new garage, you just find out that it's locked. You need to finish two howling missions in order to be able to unlock the garage. And they're not easy. You have to haul metal beans across the map and you have to haul some wooden planks. So it's not gonna be remotely easy for you to unlock this garage. My initial plan was to bring a Antarctic Azov to the map uh, while winching a Humvee attached to the scout module so I could maybe hopefully unlock the most of the map and even though that was super good in theory it, it did not work as intended mostly because I keep flipping over and over my Antarctic Azov uh, Maybe the fat caterpillar could be a better option. I definitely gonna try that out because it's way more stable So I'm definitely trying the fat cat, but believe me you want to have those big wheels on your truck So if you're not using any mods, honestly, I think those trucks are the only option viable for this map uh, At least I believe so because you really need those big tires there's also an absolutely lack of infrastructure on the map. All the bridges and roads are busted. Do not trust the map for anything. Whenever you see a road, it is 100% likely that the road will either be fully covered by snow or it will be tilted and super slippery with tons of rocks or debris or there is no road at all. Maybe the bridge fall in and you have to go zigzagging into some wooden planks or I don't know, it is just pure nightmare. My another approach was bringing down a Tatrin that sort of helped me in flipping my Azov, but even the Tatrin was not able to cross most of those air quotes roads. Uh, just see for yourself. So in a nutshell, I wasn't able to progress very much on this map. I tried my best for at least three hours yesterday trying to unlock the most of the map I could and I just simply gave up. Honestly, this map is a little bit too hard for my taste and I just felt so frustrated over and over and over that I simply quit playing. But I will give it a try again whenever this is released on the main game because I was just feeling oh my god I'm wasting so much time on this test server exploring this map and this progression will not even be transferred to the to the main game whenever it launches. So I just quit. In a nutshell just trust me this is gonna be the hardest experience you ever had in any uh, of the games of this company. Trust me it is it is brutal like really really brutal that'll be all for this video and i hope this information was helpful to you leave on the comments what you think about all this i would love to hear your feedback thank you so much for watching and i see you next time